In this Vibe video, we're going to talk about the Novell Vibe desktop application. This desktop application is intended to allow you to save documents and files directly to the folder structure on your machine and have it sync into Vibe. So we've installed the desktop app here on this machine. Our library is now looking at his uh, workspace in Vibe. But we want to show you what it looks like to start up the Vibe app. So here we're going to click Novell Vibe Desktop App. And then we're going to make sure that it's running. And it is. And then we're going to open uh, Microsoft Office. We're going to create a file. This app was saved with the desktop app. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And after I installed, this is Windows 7, but after I installed the Nova Vibe desktop app, I got a new library, the Nova Vibe library. It'll also set up a structure in your um, C drive or wherever you'd like to put it. Um, it lets you choose where you want to put the synced folders and files. So here I'm looking at my workspace in our library. I'm going to open up the files and I'm going to go ahead and save Vibe app to the Novell Vibe library files folder. So this is Rex library's files folder. I'll close this, close this. and uh, it'll sync periodically. We'll go to the files folder right now. And you can see that the vibe app.docs, it recognized there was a new file in the folder and it synced the document for me. So here's the doc I just created. And I can open this up. And I can edit the file. It'll open up the document in Office for me. And I can save the document and close it. So that was all done here in Vibe. If I want to look at this file in HTML, I can see that my changes were made. But now I want to make sure that that file is ready on my own machine. So before I start to work, it's always a best practice, in case it hasn't synced yet, to select on the Nova Vibe icon, Synchronize Now. After I've synchronized these documents, I can go into Nova Vibe, open the Files folder, and I see that my Vibe app has been modified. So there the changes have been made, and we can make additional changes. Again, this was not done using Vibe. This was done on our own machine. So we'll close that. And if it hasn't synced already, we'll make sure that it's synced by selecting Synchronize Now. So now we see the vibeapp.docs. It's on version 1.2 because we've made an edit both in Vibe and on our desktop. And we can view this in HTML to see our changes. So use this Vibe desktop app to sync files and documents that are on your computer quickly and easily to Vibe. 